Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I am getting real about a topic which is weirdly not covered very often when it comes to sex, which is really a make or break issue for most couples in order to have truly amazing physical intimacy. So if you wanna have better intimacy, and I'm pretty sure you do, otherwise why are you here? <laughs> then make sure you keep on watching. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't wanna be really curling them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything wrong? Okay, I'm gonna get absolutely shot by my video editor today because this lighting is disastrous. I know, I know, I'm not in my usual lighting setup. I'm filming very late at night. Um, I'm just very disorganized at the moment because I'm honestly very run down. I've got a really bad cold right now. Don't worry, it's not the other thing which I won't say on here because YouTube will probably demonetize me if I mention the other thing, but it's not that thing. I've done a test. It's just a cold. And also I unfortunately had a flare up of my endometriosis over the weekend. So I spent the entire weekend in bed when I was gonna be doing my filming. That was not fun. A lot of you that have been watching this channel for the last little while will be aware of the fact that I've got endometriosis. I had surgery for it a couple of years ago and that got rid of it and I've been pretty good since then. But unfortunately, yeah, just recently had a flare up. This has been my first one in two years though. So I don't want to complain too much. And yes, some of you are going to notice and comment. I have new hair again. I like to keep you all guessing. I've gone shorter and darker because you know, it's nice to have a change. They say change is as good as a holiday. Now, if you don't like my hair, don't comment on it. There's no need to comment on it on the comment section, guys. Like, let's all just be nice to each other. Seriously, as your parents told you, if you don't have something nice to say, then just don't say anything at all or say it and be blocked from the comment section. Cause that's what I'll do. We don't need nastiness. Stop it, get some help. And also I'm not here to like look visually appealing. So just chill on the, comments about my appearance. Okay, y'all? Now that that's out of the way, let's get into actually a very important topic and something which really is like hardly ever acknowledged when it comes to the topic of sex, which moving forward, I'm going to use the word physical intimacy in place of that because as an experiment, I'm gonna just try and see if I can get just one of my videos not demonetized by YouTube because the subject matter that I talk about on this channel means that YouTube essentially demonetizes all of my videos. And that's really tough on me as a content creator. Luckily, I have some amazing sponsors a lot of the time, but just gonna try and see if I can get not demonetized. I have always been very forward about the fact that I am not an expert. I'm not a physical intimacy therapist. I didn't study physical intimacy in college or anything like that. I studied journalism and then I started writing about my dating life and my physical intimacy life on the internet. And I noticed very quickly that people were really enjoying that content and wanting more of that content. And so I started writing more and more about it. As I've written more and more about it over the years, I have definitely learned a lot more about physical intimacy than probably the average person knows because I've had to read lots of research on the topic and pretty much any new peer reviewed medical journal article that will come out about the topic of physical intimacy, I will usually have already read it. So I'm very up to date on the latest research and studies, but still at the end of the day, I'm not a doctor. I'm not an expert. I'm just an everyday woman that is here just trying to normalize the topic of physical intimacy. But I think because we don't really get given permission in the culture that we live in to really talk about physical intimacy a lot, what tends to happen is that people are really desperate for somewhere that they can feel safe to actually talk about it with someone. And because I do talk about it openly, a lot of people write to me and have now for, you know, years, every single week, they'll email me or DM me or, or write to me in the comment section here on YouTube and ask me questions. And more often than not, I won't answer those questions because like I say, not a doctor, not an expert, don't feel qualified to answer them. These questions tell me a lot about the fact that people do not 
feel safe to talk to their own partners about these issues they're having because so often when especially when women will come to me and they say they will say you know i'm not enjoying physical intimacy with my partner and also i'm not getting to the big o if you know what i mean the big o because i'm not going to say that word either i'm not getting to the big o with my partner either and that's a concern for me and sometimes i will ask them well have you told your partner this and they'll say no i'm too embarrassed it would be too awkward it really bothers me that we feel safer telling a stranger on the internet someone like me about our most intimate life that we have with our partner but we don't feel comfortable talking to our own partners about it i feel so often people come to this channel or they read my columns because they're looking for a way to fix their physical intimacy maybe they they've stopped having so much of it or they're not having it at all anymore or they're having it but it's just not the kind of physical intimacy that they want to be having. A lot of times they think that that's going to be improved by a particular tongue technique or a particular position and while those things can help, at the end of the day they're really not going to make any difference if you cannot have a conversation with your own partner about this topic. I don't know if you guys can hear that but someone's having a party near me and there's like <laughs> music playing i'm just gonna wait for it to stop two hours later so here's the thing you can have all the techniques in the world you can know the best oral tips you could know the best positions and yet these things really aren't going to make a difference if you are not honest and open with your partner about physical intimacy and if you're not having regular conversations about it because our needs our tastes our desires all of these things evolve and change constantly over time they're not static and so often we not only don't even regularly visit this topic, but we don't visit this topic at all with our partner. What you really need to start doing if you want to have better physical intimacy with your partner is talking to your partner openly and honestly about it starting today, like starting from when you finish watching this video, find a moment when both you and your partner are in a calm, relaxed state and bring it up. And this doesn't have to be something that's gonna hurt their feelings or hurt their ego. There's no need for you to say, hey honey, by the way, you know like the last 10 years, the physical intimacy we've been having that you thought was really good? Yeah, I haven't actually been enjoying it. You don't need to say that. What you can say to them is that, I would like to work on our physical intimacy. I would like to explore things that we are both into. I would like to try new things with you. These are things that I do like. And if you don't know things that you like, that's okay too. You can be honest with that, uh, with your partner about that and, and say that you want to explore those things. Maybe you can watch some X-rated adult movies together to explore that. Now that the uh, garbage is in space, doctor, perhaps you can help me with my s inhibitions. Talk to your partner about purchasing a toy together and going on an adult website and choosing one out because if one of the people in the relationship has a V word, then chances are they will benefit from using a toy during physical intimacy because external stimulation is so important for people who have V words, which I'm, again, trying not to get demonetized here, guys. It's so important to have these conversations because your partner is not a mind reader. They can't possibly know the things that get you going and the things that bore you or that aren't comfortable for you, just as you can't possibly know the things that your partner's into. Particularly if your partner is a woman, because women are actually conditioned to fake our pleasure and pretend we're enjoying things that we're not enjoying. Yes! Oh! 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 Oh, God. Oh. So unless you really create a safe space to have regular, honest conversations with your partner about this topic, your physical intimacy is not going to improve. And that's the hard truth. And I know people, people often come to me wanting these really specific answers. Like they want me to tell them what to say or what to do or how to do a certain thing in the bedroom. But I can't because I'm not in your relationship and every relationship is different and every person just to throw another technical glitch into the works, my camera just died. It's just charging and I want to get this video to my editor now. So I'm going to wrap it up here and say that every relationship is different and every person is different. And until you speak to your partner, 
You cannot know what they want. And I can't help you know what your partner wants. So I really hope the thing that you take away from this video today is to start an honest, open conversation with your partner about physical intimacy and make it something you do as regularly as you would discuss the finances, your plans for the future, your thoughts on child rearing, all of those other topics that we prioritize because physical intimacy is one of the most important things for the health of your relationship. So do not ignore it and hope that the problem will just resolve itself. It won't. You need to start talking about it today. Now, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up in spite of all the technical issues. And if you are new here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button or if you've been watching for a while. Also, if you haven't subscribed, hit subscribe, hit the notification bell as well. It will let you know when my videos are going live. If you haven't hit that button, by the way, guys, even if you've been subscribed for a long time now, YouTube won't actually let you know when I'm going live. So make today the day you hit it. And I'll see you all in the next video. A little bit less sniffly, a little bit less all over the shop and a bit more put back together. Love y'all. Mwah.